Welcome to Sheet Director. We're excited to introduce our innovative Google Workspace add-on. Simplify data exchange between apps with Sheet Director, query data, post info from Sheets to apps, and keep everything in sync. In this video, we will see how Sheet Director can help you to automate the integration between Google Sheets and Zoho Begin. Let's launch Sheet Director and choose Zoho Begin from the available list of applications. I will name the service as Zoho Bacon Query Service. I'll then choose the service named Query, which gets the data of selected objects from the Zoho Bacon. Let me connect to Zoho Bacon. Zoho Bacon is connected now. I'll choose Tasks as a module and then select the required fields from the fields list. We can also apply the filters by choosing the required conditions. For now, I am not applying any filters. We also have a sort by option, I want to sort the results by task name in descending order. Additionally, I'll also set the max results to 25, limiting the tasks to 25. For the destination settings, I'll select the Query Tasks Sheet tab to present all the values from Zoho Begin. By default, it begins from cell A1. Also, we have the option to create a new sheet by clicking on the plus icon. And turn on or off the include header and clear sheet before getting the tasks. I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Upon successful execution, we can see that the selected fields from the list are effectively brought from the Zoho Begin and seamlessly presented within the selected sheet. Now, let's look at how to create Zoho Begin tasks from Google Sheets. Let's make another service and name as Zoho Begin Post Service for creating the Zoho Begin tasks from the sheet. I will choose the Post Service. Then I will select Tasks as a module from the list. For Source Settings, I will choose the Task Sheet tab to present all the values for the Zoho Begin. By default, it will begin for cell A1. Selecting the source sheet will automatically show the intelligent mapping. Click on Yes to map. For result column settings, select the status and result from the drop-down or create a new one from the plus icon. This mapping guides us on where to place the resulting information in the status and result columns. In the sheet, you'll notice columns labeled status and result. These fields will provide you with the status of the posted records. The mapping aligns the fields between the sheet and the Zoho Begin. We can manually map by using the column drop-down. To create a new mapping, you can simply click on the plus icon. Deleting a field mapping is as easy as clicking the delete icon above each mapped field, except for mandatory fields. Now, I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Initially, the status in the status column will indicate ready to post. Upon execution, the execution control panel will appear and tell us how many records are ready to post in the Zoho Begin. At this point, we have two options, Post Now and Close. I will click on Post Now, which will create the tasks in Zoho Begin. After successful execution, each record will be updated individually in the status and result columns. And we can see all the posted records in Zoho Begin. Let's prepare a new service named Zoho Begin Sync. This synchronizes the tasks between Google Sheets and Zoho Begin. I'll choose Synchronize as a service type. The synchronized service allows users to automatically synchronize the data between Google Sheets and Zoho Begin. I'll choose the tasks object from the list and then select the necessary fields 
from the provided fields list. Also, we can apply filters and sort to synchronize records. For now, I will skip. To ensure efficiency, I'll set the max results to 25, restricting to only 25 Zoho Begin tasks. The synchronization process requires the synchronized keys to match rows in Google Sheets, with corresponding data in Zoho Begin. You must select the synchronized keys, in the fields list. It is essential to note that, these keys are mandatory, for the synchronization to occur. When there is a conflict between different data in Google Sheets and Zoho Begin for the same data, either side needs to be overwritten to maintain synchronization. You can opt for either Zoho Begin Wins or Google Sheet Wins to choose which data to keep. In the Zoho Begin Wins scenario, the most recent data from Zoho Begin will overwrite and update the corresponding task in Google Sheets. On the other hand in the Google Sheet Wins, the most recent data from Google Sheets will overwrite and update the corresponding data in Zoho Begin. First, let me choose Google Sheet Wins. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will opt for the Sync Task Sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the service, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. The Execution Control Panel will appear. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the Sheet Director will get the tasks for us. A prompt will appear, posing the question, Your Google Sheet seems to be empty. Do you want to get the records from Zoho Begin first? At this point, two options will be presented, Get Now, or Close. You have to select the Get Now option, which will fetch the tasks, from Zoho Begin. As mapping is supported at Sync Service, mapping aligns the fields, between the synchronization sheet and the Zoho Begin. So now as it's asking for intelligent mapping, I will select, Yes. It will automatically map both app fields and sheet fields. We can also manually map by using the column drop-down. To create a new mapping, you can simply click on the plus icon. If you already have Zoho Begin data in Google Sheets, then you need to select or establish columns to display synchronization status and results. By clicking the plus symbol, I will add the status and result columns to the sheet. For some of the tasks I will update, the task name and status. You can see the current task name and status value of one of the tasks in Zoho Begin. Subsequently, I will click the Execute button. Upon successful execution, the execution control panel will reappear, with synchronization details. Number of new records found in Zoho Begin. Total records that are ready to synchronize, from the Google Sheet. How many records will be updated, in the Zoho Begin from the total records? Additionally, I will be asked, are you okay to synchronize? This query is accompanied, by two buttons, Sync Now, and Close. I will opt for the Sync Now button. Throughout the execution process, each record will be updated individually within the Zoho Begin. Upon successful update, the status column in Google Sheets will depict the status of the data. Newly updated data will be marked as synced successfully, while pre-existing data will be indicated as already synchronized. We can see that updated task in Zoho Begin. Now, let me choose Zoho Begin Wins. With the Zoho Begin Wins option, recent data of Zoho Begin will be updated in Google Sheets. I will clear both the status and result column values to get new updates of records. To test this, I will change the task name value of one of the tasks to UX Improvements on AI. Now it should update the recent value from the Zoho Begin. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will keep the same Sync Task Sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. 
After configuring the settings, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. After executing, the Execution Control Panel will appear and show all the information regarding the update. If the selected sheet is empty, the Sheet Director will get data. I will again click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. Throughout the successful execution process, each record will be updated individually. We can notice that the value on Google Sheets is replaced by the recent values from Zoho Began irrespective of the update made on the Google Sheets. Also, the new tasks will be fetched from Zoho Began if we add new tasks to Zoho Began. Until this point, we observed the synchronization of Zoho Began tasks originating from cell A1. Now, let's modify the cell value to F5. Select another empty sheet for testing and proceed with the synchronization process. Now, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. The Execution Control Panel will appear. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the Sheet Director will get the tasks for us. I will click the Get Now button to get the Zoho Began tasks. If you already have Zoho Began Tasks data in Google Sheets, then you need to establish the status and result column for synchronization. Upon successful execution, the Execution Control Panel will reappear with the synchronization details. I will click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. After successful synchronization, you can see the status of each record individually in the Google Sheets. In this way, you can synchronize data from any part of your Google Sheets. With Sheet Director, you effortlessly harness the magic of Zoho Began tasks. Seamlessly query, display, and transform your Zoho Began tasks data right within Google Sheets. Experience the future of organization and data synergy with the Sheet Director. Thanks for watching the video.